Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And we got a special guest. Again. Jeremiah, the musical Jeremiah. one. The what you say? One, I like that. Yeah, yeah the musical one. Like, oh, All right. All right, guys. We're going back with some more Jeremiah topics. Uh, We'll go with this one and see where it takes us. What have you learned or taken up due to the pandemic? And uh, and did it stick? Did it not stick? Did you try or did you do nothing? Jeremiah, we'll, do? Go, we'll go with you first. I started making music. So, oh, yeah. That I, was what you started during the pandemic? Mm hmm. Yeah, I um, played in rock bands and stuff through high school. And then when I got a family, I just kind of stopped playing music. I played guitar. And then uh, pandemic, it was locked down. So I had time to learn how to drum, learn how to play the bass, how to record. Like, I'm still learning, but in the time since the pandemic started, you know, I've recorded 15 different songs. Oh, nice. Um, kind of okay, stuck with you, it. You, you've been playing music for years, though, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been playing since I've been 15 or so. But there was like 10 years, I just straight up just didn't play at all. I didn't pick the guitar up. Like it was, I started learning with my friends in high school, learning their instruments at the same time. So it was always like working in a band. So that's, I didn't know how to just sit there and play the guitar other than play the same 10 songs uh, I knew or whatever it was. So you're used to working in a collaborative effort, not like mm -hmm. just chilling, trying to make your own songs with just guitar. Yeah. Like even when I, I was learning guitar, it was, I didn't play if my drummer wasn't there. Like who the hell am I gonna play with? So, like that's right, the right. that's the biggest change I think since the pandemic is like now I had the time to sit down and actually figure out how do you, how do you entertain yourself with music, just sitting you know by yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of right. like well, the collaborative things what I like I just have to be able to collaborate with myself in different takes with right, different instruments. Right. So it's like you turned it in, turned into something you did with your friends into an actual like outlet hobby self self. Uh, I can't uh, like something that killed boredom, you know, like I'm yeah. bored. I'm going to sit down with music and just have fun with it. Yeah. For I can't myself. go nowhere. I can't go to the beach. And, like I'm yeah. stuck in, stuck inside. So I got the guitar. Let's see what we can do. Music's therapeutic. Honestly, I've always admired musicians. I, if there's any one thing that I wish I could do is, is uh, play an instrument. I don't know if my fingers work that way. Mm -hmm. um, I've definitely play tried. Drumming. Uh, you know what? I, I've I've tried the drums. I got one of those uh, learner books, and mm -hmm. after about thirty minutes, I was like, "Oh, I get it! Like I understand like what each note means for it, how it corresponds to each uh, each separate drum or cymbal or whatever." But uh, no, I'm not gonna buy a drum set and move it into the into the house and then have the neighbors be like, "This dude bought a drum set." <laughs> Living in an apartment, you have a full yeah. drum set. You're just like. Yeah, yeah. I um during pandemic, I started uh, messing around with plants. I had never messed with plants in my whole life, and uh, it started with uh, marijuana. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I immediately started growing an entire crop of marijuana. He's a drug no, uh, cartel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, I got mixed up with the wrong people. One uh, man cartel. Started out with a. Uh, I saw somebody. So I was in a work meeting. And somebody at work said that they'd been growing an avocado tree from a seed for like three years and it had just died. And she was upset that they'd been growing it for years. And I was like, wait, 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 you can grow a tree from an avocado seed? And I had just really – I had really never started eating avocados until I moved to Texas. So like I, they're fairly new to me. So I was like, oh, let me just put a couple avocado seeds in water. Well, now those tr – I, I have – I gave one to a girl I'm seeing. And I have two here. They're like three foot tall. Like they're like full blown trees now. And then like I bought a few other plants and like I have a couple cacti and stuff like that. And yeah, it's fun. Except for now they have uh, fucking fungus bugs in the soil. So I can't keep them in the house because they're just like they look like gnats flying around the house. So I'm, they're outside. I'm trying to like dry the soil out so they all die. But um, yeah, but plants are fun, dude, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're all right. Like growing food, man. Yeah, exactly. I, they help. They. I feel like they really oxygenated up the house with that CO two differential. You know. Oh um, yeah, you were yeah, on another so level, right? Yeah, I was really feeling unoxygenated during the pandemic, and I felt bringing some greenery into the house would help. No, I don't know. That that's probably the biggest thing I picked up during the pandemic would be playing around with plants or whatever. Um, but yeah, otherwise I just uh, sat around and self loathed. <laughs> I've yeah. learned how to self-loathe a lot yeah. during pandemic. We were doing a lot before pandemic hit. Um, we were definitely doing a lot. Um, I guess the one thing that I got into is I got a lot heavier into uh, fitness as a whole. Um, 
sat around pandemic and you know how pandemic eating was like it was just whatever you can get door dash to the to the <laughs> Whatever yeah. you can get brought to the house or whatever you could go out and bring in quick. Mm-hmm. Like, you couldn't go out to restaurants. Uh, but you didn't want to go to the grocery store at one point in time. So, you know, I started putting on a little extra weight, at like at like we all did. And I started I started running. I started hitting the gym super heavy. And I, honestly, I've, I want to say I've never felt better in my life, but I felt better before. But I've never, I haven't felt this good in a very long time so mm-hmm. yeah and i man. yeah yeah I'm i didn't like i didn't 40 miles a month right now so oh, running yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i uh yeah. i used to yeah i used to love working out and then like yeah during the pandemic i didn't go to the gym because obviously pandemic but uh and but i yeah, was still like, going to our the gym we had uh here at the crazy town compound i was still going to that gym but it is a public gym mm-hmm. yeah and then around uh, the pandemic stop the gym i just mm-hmm. got shovel horse shit now that's kind of my workout. <laughs> do you live on a farm? That. Wait, you have I horses? Do. Yeah, I got oh, a pair shit. of them. Yeah, they're downstairs right now. Got some chickens. Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize you had a whole... How, how much land do you have down there? Five acres. Oh, shit. Okay. Can yeah, what all... <laughs> <laughs> I can't bring them up here. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a picture of the horses? Yeah, I got one somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'll um... Over. Yeah, um... That's cool, man. Like, so what all, like, do you, so you have your house and then do you have like a barn or do you have a chicken cable? Yeah. Like what all do you have? But yeah. It's a barn. And then on top of the barn is like where I'm at right now. It serves as a studio, um, work, where I work. So I walk oh, out. Oh, so you have like morning. an office creative space in the loft area of the yeah, barn. Yeah, in the hayloft. Oh, yeah, okay. Up here in the oh, hayloft. Cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It doesn't look like a hayloft. You look like you're in a room. So, hey. So, I like, tried to trick you. You're sitting on a bale of hay right now. You're like, yeah, well, that's cool. He's milking a cow off screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the horses' names? Can I know? Because this is the people. Yeah, there's people there's Cooper. Like Cooper is the asshole man, and then oh, Irma wow. is the uh, the chick, and she was she come about around Hurricane Irma, so she got her name. Oh, okay. Her. And then you so have chickens. Florida. How many chickens yeah. do you have? Three now. We used to have four, but a, a raccoon got one of them. Which oh, is wow. fair. Like he took a share, quarter. I left me, left me three quarters. So, <laughs> right. He just, do you guys, so. uh, do you guys get a lot of, egg, <laughs> do you guys get a lot of eggs from them and stuff? Do you eat? Is that what you like use them for the eggs? He, well, yeah. Um, they each lay an egg a day. We don't like eat eggs like that, but you know, they're, they're oh, cool so you have. get? Oh my God! So you get twenty-one eggs a week because you get. Yeah, <laughs> we just like it's kind of like what you're doing. It's like here's a pet that gives us some food if we need it. Like, I'm sure you don't want to eat avocados all the time, but, like, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you'll be eating guac. I'll be eating scrambled yeah. eggs. Right, right. So what do you do with all the eggs? Smash them. <laughs> Throw them at my house? Yeah. <laughs> we'll egg well, our house. I line the chickens up and then put the egg in front of them and smash them. Like, look what you've done. <laughs> See what you've done. <laughs> Yeah, you see what you did. That's a, I think that's a war crime. Yeah. Yeah. You put them in a what is it, a, a chicken stock? Like one of those yeah. that are head through so they have to watch and you're just like Yeah. Ha-ha. No, I mean you just discard the middle of the egg and then you, you can use the shell for like growing stuff. Oh, you, you compost, compost it or whatever? Oh yeah. yeah okay. We grow some yeah. stuff here too. Jalapenos, um, tomatoes, cucumbers, dill, cilantro. Oh, nice. You could just incubate like the eggs farm. and then have a thousand chickens. <laughs> you could. Chickens eat though. Like you, you gotta feed them. Like they're like just like any other pet. Like I can't do anything with the dog. He doesn't produce any food. But the chickens do. Worthless. Yeah. It's Worthless just dog. like food I'm spending for something and not giving me food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have any I other think animals? That's like crazy that you actually like live on a farm. How long have you lived on a farm for? Uh, been about two years. Like COVID okay. scared me out of the city. Oh really? So, so this is a this is a new development. Yeah, yeah, I had a, I had an apartment. So to your point, you can't bring a drum set in there. Um, I tried the electronic one, and it just sounded like someone nailing up pictures all the time. And that's why we don't do that either. That's why we so, don't do that. Yeah, so it just it kind of made sense. And then everyone's sick, so let's get away from everyone. And that was yeah. the approach. That's cool. And then did, we, so we did had you buy? Too, so it was like an, we don't have to pay to put them somewhere anymore. They just did you buy a pre-existing farm with a barn and all that, or did you buy a land with a house and built a barn and all that sort of stuff? Uh, there's like a garage that I like. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's a huge building, and so I was like, there's room for like a garage, a barn, all that stuff in the building, <laughs> okay. and then there's 
land, so you just dig a bunch of post holes and put up a fence. Nice, nice. That's yeah. cool, man. That's cool. Any other animals besides chickens and horses? And the um, dog, rabbit. Um, a couple cats. Keep the mice and lizards out the out the barn. Nice. So you got like a whole like little little the whole fun fully functional community there of like ebb and flow, and you got to pay chicken tax to the raccoons and yeah. Yeah, and I have never seen a horse in real life. You haven't? Really? Never. Oh, oh wow. For why? Why would I? How? <laughs> they're, they're big. <laughs> they are big. I'm terrified of them. And it's, uh, like, you I don't, don't ride them at all? No. No. I don't. You see, they killed Superman. I ain't getting on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wait. Horses killed Superman? Yeah. Christopher Reeves, oh. man. Oh, yeah, the real going, Superman. Yeah, the you real Superman. Kill him. They killed Dean Kane. I think he's still alive. He's dead to me. What about right. Henry Cavill? He's still alive. Oh, yeah. Barely. <laughs> no he's one knows who he is. He's yeah, not a weapon right now. He's, he's but, still, uh, he was the last Superman. Yeah, I... Oh, uh, Jesus. Guys, oddly old. enough, <laughs> my, uh, my grandmother's sister, so I guess that would be my great aunt or whatever, um, growing up, they had a blind horse in their barn forever and it, it was like the eye was like their eyes were um it was like a cloudy periwinkle blue color like the whole eye was just like it's all i remember about this horse was that it was blind but the eye was just it just looked like you know the, the lady in thinner like how her eye looked weird i don't know but it's like yeah it was just like these big weird blue eyes that like and it was blind it, and it like didn't see it all no, yeah, it was That's completely blind. Dangerous. I don't know why they had it or what they did with it or whatever. It just was in the barn. I don't know what they did. But, yeah, it was a blind horse. I don't know how it got blind. I don't know. That was a bad story. But, yeah, I was around a real horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not there, was, blind horses. there was also this girl that I knew back in the day that I was trying to get with that never happened. And she had ho – she was into horses. Horse, and I went to – and I met her one day at her where she – what do they call it when you keep your horse somewhere else, Jeremiah? Boarding. Yeah, where she boarded her horse, and I went and hung out with her. She was there, like, I don't know, doing something with the horse. And I was like, oh, I'll go check out your horse. But, yeah, I didn't get to you hit notice it. you would try to date the horse girl. I mean, I didn't like her because she had horses. No. <laughs> I liked her because cause I wanted to do other things, and it didn't work out. You probably didn't want to do those things with her anyway because she's a horse girl. You're right. I would. It would have been a terrible mistake. It's I'm weird. Sure. Just a little yeah. weird. Shovel in shit, man. Yeah, so I don't know, and I didn't set the timer, so we're probably good. So, anyway, <laughs> all the time we have for today's well, episode. Is over. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Jeremiah. Uh, we are out. Let's go.